light shall bring victory. Greetings everyone, this is Sean Thomas in my quest to return from 20 and ranked. Alright, so I'm not really liking the mass to spell this early on. And because I'm starting, I can't really afford to hold on to the Holy Nova. So I'm going to keep the Shower Ward paid and hope for some two cost. Didn't get the two cost cards, but I did get some nice end game cards for myself. Done. I'm going to go ahead and give him a turn. Greetings. He wants to say hi. Greetings. Alright, because he didn't play any cards and I don't have anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and burn through. The, I lose that on the taunt for later on, but hopefully the uh, early card supremacy will help me get established. Because anything he brings out early is just gonna get knocked out by the Shadow Word Pain, so it might allow for me to get some some early damage on him, but as you see, that's not to be. And as I have no damage against me, I'm just going to go ahead and end the turn. His best bet is to hang on to the fire war axe. He doesn't want to burn it on just my character, knowing that I will heal back up. But this is rank 20, so we'll see what he has to do. Alright, wise choice. So we should be a little bit more wary of this guy. Fine, I'll heal. He won't be able to burn through that. So the the key to winning with the priests using the um, the buff spells is to not burn them too quickly. You wanna wait, lull them into a false sense of security, give them other targets to focus on than a 1A that might be able to inspire and heal a little bit. Because if I were to put additional minion cards out, he's going to target them first, usually. But sometimes I just get greedy and want to have that dominance, so I might play this early, and then it just makes it just makes him a target for special cards. having this master spell as well. As if he goes aggressive and goes directly for my, my champion, um, it may be better just to heal. And I don't quite understand why he chose not to do anything on that turn. Um, so what I want to do again is give him targets. So I'm going to go ahead and throw out this raider and hope that he takes the bait and uh, attacks it because he can go after it with his character here. He's got armor, so he might not feel like he's losing anything. What I want to do is bide my time until I can get a couple double heal, uh, double health. Because if I can get this villain's chosen out and then double the health up, I'm looking at 20. Uh, so that's 12. I should have 24 damage. I'll throw a silence down, and then I'll be able to take this guy down to almost nothing. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose his guardian. Let's see if he makes the same mistake and doesn't attack. He may choose not to do anything again. <laughs> I'm not sure if he just hit the button by accident or what, but... He sure is making a, taking a long time to make that decision. You really should attack my champion. Do you need a blessing? <laughs> so at this point he has no reason to even con concern himself with this tournament medic. It just doesn't do anything for him, for me at this point. So again, I'll continue to give him targets, things to worry about. Um, I'll throw down this holy champion. How many fingers do you see? And then I'm going to heal here. That will buff this guy. Up. In the light's name. All right. And I'm just going to hang on to the medic without attacking because I really don't want to lower its health. I want him to attack other guys, maybe kill off some of these guys. And he'll just he'll just continue to ignore my medic. And as soon as I get the chance, I'm going to hit him for 22 damage. He may be even more. 
because that master spell gives me a card. It's quite possible I could get two doubles. 21 cards remaining. Two of them are my double up, so one in ten chance right now. I also have that one Shadow Word Pain that can remove his taunt, and then I can beat down on him if he decides to go aggressive. I was able to do that. I'll be able to do again. I must choose. That was a poor choice. He should have saved that card. It was only going to get stronger. Right, I do not, do not want to use this because, again, I don't want to make that card a target. Um, at this point, I can attack to lower health. I do not, I do not think he's going to go after that one character. It's possible he will, but he'll stand to lose too much if he does. So let me just leave it at that. I'm going to hold on to my cards. And again, I'm just biding my time. Waiting for that double up. <laughs> so that one actually poses quite a bit of a problem for me. He's going <laughs> to... If I don't get it this turn, I'm going to have to silence. I can't continue to take that kind of damage. Alright, Holy Nova. I'm going to silence and I'll save the Holy Nova for another time. There's a light well. That's a target for him to attack. I do want to heal. I can't do the Holy Nova just yet. If I put out the light well, he's going to want to go after it, and that will give me a chance to heal a little bit, too. I wonder... What to do? I'm going to soak some damage with my light well. I'm going to heal, but I, what I'm trying to decide is to heal this guy after I reduce this guy's health a little bit. Because I'm thinking I'm going to go on the offensive here. He's not going to expect this so much. I don't have a double up yet, so it doesn't make sense to heal that guy just yet. Hopefully that ought to get me to where I need to be. So the reason I attacked this guy is because I can use my villain's chosen and it'll give me a spell damage. Coordinated with my Holy Nova, I'll be able to wipe the board with everything except for this guy. And this guy is going to get quite beefy. So that wasn't expected. I didn't think he was going to go after. He didn't like that being around too long, huh? So that was actually a poor choice by him. Had he knocked this out, he would have taken away my game. Because he did not, what I'm going to do here is make him pay with the Holy Nova. Yes, you have 17, but you also only have one life, and therefore you will perish. Alright. So I gave up the uh, 
chosen, but I still have my inner fire. And that just plays into my hand. He's gonna he's gonna use one of those on me, isn't he? He's deciding, but that's probably a better choice for him. Alright, at this point I do wanna wipe that guy out. I'll force him to attack this guy. Shields up. No, he's got to he's got to attack the the light spawn here because of the taunt. He might not mind doing that. Especially now that he's done two damage to it. It's probably a good trade for him to, to go ahead and take out the light spawn. At this point I don't really have a champion to put the... Okay. Curious to see if that se seven yeah it didn't carry over. I didn't quite understand why he did that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use the Naru. In the light's name. All right, and he's gonna kill it no matter what. Anyway, he might have cards, but he's only got one card left. I'm gonna go ahead and top off my health. His shields are down. I got this. And we're gonna hang on to Inner Fire and hope for another tournament medic. Apart from that, we could also get Ursa. Ursa would just cinch the game for me if that card came up. Ursa's the dragon. It's like 412 and it gives you a card every turn. That was a poor choice. You should have held on to that. Okay. So we're just going to double up on the Shadow Boxers. I want to keep them alive. At this point, he's in the paper bag and he's trying to fight his way out. Yeah, that's actually not too bad a card against my Shadow Boxers, but... All I have to do is not heal. So he'll attack something. He'll have to go after the light spawn to get the card he wants. Oddly enough, he will not do that. <laughs> that was a mistake. Had he gone after this, he would have had the 4-4 and the 6-6, and the 4-4 would have become a 5-5. As you see, the under being gets spawned. Alright, I did get what I wanted earlier, and the game is over. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to attack with my two shadow boxers directly on him. One will take away... Uh, the armor and the other will take away three health. That's right, three health, not two. And the reason is because I'm going to throw the, this double up here. And then let's go ahead and show you that. So I, he's down to five health now. He's down to three health now. And then the inner fire I've been holding on the whole game will give me just what I need to push over the edge. And that's game. I hope you've uh, found this useful. So gotta kind of get in the head of the, the other player and try to think through what they would do against you or what you would do against yourself if you're in their position. And it'll help you uh, get at least a couple steps ahead in the game. And uh, if you found it useful, please hit like. And uh, if you have, have any comments or questions or would like to try uh, have me try out some other classes that you are, are favoring, uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to do so, put out some more content for you. 
Thank you for watching. Have a good day.